welcome back to our lovely channel. Today I have a breathtaking tour of my newly decorated living room, dining room slash kitchen. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy.
Okay, family, so I hope you enjoyed uh, my spring living room, dining room slash kitchen tour. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk through the apartment and let you guys know where I got the newest items from and how much they cost. Um, if you are new to my channel, you can always go back to my previous videos to see the older things that I bought in the past and where I got them from and how much I paid for them, okay? Because I'm not going to go through every single item in the apartment. So here we go. So let's see what's new. Okay, this mirror is new. And you guys will see a lot of stickers on my items. Uh, the price tag still. Uh, this one right here where I couldn't get that off. Somebody help me. How do I get the the sticky stuff off because I like tried everything. So anyways, so this came from Home Goods. I absolutely love this mirror. And it was, I believe, 500. Got that from Home Goods. This is a newer lamp, so I will explain where I got this from. This is from Home Goods as well, and I paid 120 for it. And as y'all see, if you're not, I mean, if you're not new here, you see that I put some pictures in my frames finally. Some of them, the bigger ones, I still have the 11 by 14s. I still have to um, blow some of those up, but I did get some pictures in here. Um, and I got some artwork finally. I'm not re very big on putting artwork in my um, home. I don't know. I, I don't know what that's about. But anyways, I got those from the at-home store and those were, ch -ch -ch -ch, how much were those? Oh, $50 a piece. And I thought those were very pretty to match with like the blush pink I have in here. It's like blush pinkish mauve -y color, but it works. All right, let's move on over here. I got this gorgeous chair. Let me move the pillow out of it. From the at-home store. And I paid, what did I pay for this? I got 15% off. So it was like two something I paid for this chair. I thought that was gorgeous. Okay, there's that. And then for the sofa. So I purchased this from Value City Furniture and I got this for $1,500. They have like a huge sectional as well, but I didn't get that one. I just went ahead with this one because this one, um, what they already had in stock. So I was able to get it and not wait like three months like everything else. All right, 1500 Value City Furniture. Let's see here, what else is new? Um, nothing over here other than like these, well, that vase. <laughs> that was from Marshalls and I think I paid like $14.99 for it. Man, these little vases are getting expensive too, you guys. All right, so let's move over here. Nothing really new in the kitchen except for this black uh, cheese tray. I needed to add some black in here, you guys, to ground everything um, because it was just a little bit too mirrory and too much silver and glam. So I had to bring some black in here to just ground everything. Um, that little flower up there, that was $16.99. That's from Burlington. Okay. Now let's move over to the dining room. Oh, can I tell you guys how much I absolutely love this chandelier? Okay, I got this from, well, I was looking on Restoration Hardware and they want like, I think $8,000 for something like this. But I found this on Amazon and it was only 600 and some dollars. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably add that in here when I get off of here and edit and find out how much I actually paid for it. But that was 600 something dollars off of Amazon and it is 40, 40 inches in diameter. So it's about as big as my dining room table is huge. This apartment was missing something, you know, and it was definitely the lighting. I absolutely love this, you guys. It's more prettier in person. This video isn't doing it any justice. It's just like when you walk through here, it's like, bam. So there's that. Nothing new on the dining room table. Everything I've already had. All right. And then I just brought this 
As you all know, that was in my bedroom as the TV stand, but then I got the brand new mirrored stand in there. So I just brought this out here, like I said, to ground everything with the black lamps that I already had. And then this mirror was already on this wall, but I just sat it on top of here just to make it look more grand and more of a wow factor. And then also over here, I know you guys were probably looking like, why don't she have anything above this mirror? Because it looks odd. I found this at Value City, Front, not Value City, Burlington. I don't want to be on camera today, you guys. I didn't get all dressed up for y'all. I look a hot mess. But anyways, um, I got this mirror from Burlington and it was only $22. And I love all the little mirrors in it. It just sparkles and it shines. It's so pretty. And like I said, it was $22. And then I'm just waiting for them to get another one so I can hang it above there and then that, and then hang it right across from that window. And it just makes it sparkle like some diamonds. All right, so I think that's all that's new. Um, this is newer, this stand right here. I got that from Facebook Marketplace, $120. And yeah, that's about it, you guys. Oh, I got these candlesticks right here. Thought those were pretty, and I got those from uh, Burlington, and I believe they were maybe $15 a piece, something like that. But, yep, that's about it. Let's take in this beautiful, oh, it's just breathtaking. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope that if you are new here, you're just um, finding this channel. I hope that you would please subscribe to it and then also turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the videos that I upload. I'll be having some new videos come up soon. So um, yeah, just stay tuned, you guys. And then also, if you are already part of the family, I love you guys. I appreciate you so very much. It means so much to me when you guys tune in and you guys comment and just hold conversations with me and just encourage me and give me kind words that I really, really do appreciate that. So I just want to let you guys all know that. Um, like I said, I usually speak at the end and put the camera on me, but I'm not going to do that because I am not camera ready today. So I just hope that you all have a very blessed day. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Yeah, and one more thing. I did want to let you guys know that I did start an Instagram finally. Yay! Yay! Uh, fin finally started an Instagram. So I'm going to put that below right here so you guys can go ahead over there. Simply Simona Home and follow me. Um, I'll have a lot of uh, shopping hauls, like things that I buy here and there. And then just post them and share them with you guys. Just different things um, that I happen to come across in my everyday life, you know. So anyways, go ahead and sub, not subscribe, <laughs> but follow me on there if you like. And then also I started a fitness page and that's called Simply Simona Fitness. So if you guys are into fitness and you would like to just get some healthy recipes, healthy snacks and things like that, you can go ahead and follow me over there. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not done. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you guys, but um, I also wanted to let you all know that my daughter, she is finally on her own with doing her YouTube channel apart from Brooklyn. Um, if you don't know, I have twin daughters. They started a YouTube and they're no longer doing it together, but Brooklyn will be making some appearances on there. So go ahead, subscribe to Adriana Dice and I will put that at the screen below right here. And she's into home decor, she's into art, she's into all kinds of stuff. So if you guys are into any of that, which I think you are, go ahead and follow my daughter over on her page. All right, have a blessed day. And for the third time, bye-bye.